everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to another episode of McCall Media TV Live, whereby in today's episode, I'm going to be talking to you, or really, I should say, answering a question from a, a lovely lady who wants to know about WordPress YouTube plugins. So without further ado, while I get myself set up so I can walk you through a solution today, I'm going to play my intro and we'll crack straight on. Okay, so today's um, Ask McCall Media is all about um, a WordPress uh, problem that basically the lovely Lynn Morgan has had, and she's got involved in a bit of a LinkedIn conversation and chat with me, and she has asked me if uh, if I could give some advice on a WordPress plugin that would be really useful for helping her work with YouTube and embedding YouTube videos and her channel within her WordPress website. So that's what we're up to today. I'm basically presenting that solution to you guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Uh, walk you through the solution. So we're going to uh, basically, oh, sorry, I've just showed you the problems, but we're going to go through a solution. And I'm going to give you a quick demonstration and example by showing you my my own website, because this is the plugin that I use. Now I'm going to just scroll down on the home page so that I can get to this section here. It says discover McCall Media TV. And this here is the plugin in action that I am going to be teaching you guys how to install, select, configure and use in the next five to 10 minutes. Now, um, I have chosen to uh, put it on my homepage. And as you can see, I've got 10 little thumbnails uh, below that, that basically as each video goes live on my channel, this kind of scrolls along and populates so that you can basically stay in touch with me with regards to what I've been doing on my last 10 videos. I also, this is one of the latest blogs that I've done. This was from like about a week ago. I also use the plugin on my blog posts, but I use it in a different way. So instead of using the entire uh, channel as being an embed, I'm using a specific video as an embed. So this is basically what I'm going to be teaching you today. So at the moment, you can see the results. What I'm going to do now is basically teach you how to do the uh, find the plugin and install it and use it. And then I will then basically show you the uh, how, to, how to actually get it happening on your site. So the plugin itself, right, let's just close this one down. All right, so we are in the back end area or the admin area of my McCall Media uh, website. And I'm just going to change the screen layout because of what's going to be coming up next in a minute. OK, so as you can see here, I've got all my plugins shown. And this here is the plugin that we're going to be looking at today. So I've obviously got it already installed and I have it already configured for use. But just in case uh, you guys aren't uh, sort of comfy with that. I'm just going to show you right now. Uh, where are we? How to I'm just thinking, do I have the page ready? No, I don't. So basically, it's called embed plus for YouTube. So if you go to add new plugins, and you was literally to do a search on YouTube plugin, you're obviously going to get presented with lots and lots of different solutions. And the one that I have worked with and I'm using here um, is shown in the top. Now, when you're picking out a plugin to use, just a real quick tip, and I have covered this in other videos, but one of the things that you really need to think about is how many installations and if everything here is showing as a green tick and recently updated, because people, obviously, these plugins are designed by independent uh, businesses, and although they have uh, requirements to meet with regards to... Um, WordPress, like sort of terms and conditions and standards. Um, some of them aren't always kept up to date. So for example, down here, this one was six months old and it's untested with my current version of WordPress, which is if there's a chance it's going to configure or uh, sort of upset my balance on my WordPress website, that's probably one that would do so. Um, so basically, as you're looking down, there's loads and loads and loads of different solutions for all sorts of different things. But this is the one that I would suggest you guys go with or give it a try. It's actually called Embed Plus for YouTube team. 
that's the author. Uh, you can see the name there, and then obviously you'd you'd add it and configure it in the normal manner. Uh, now, bear me just one second while I pull my screens around. Okay. Right. So what we are doing now is we're in the back end of uh, the WordPress website again. And as you can imagine, I have installed the plugin. Now, the plugin itself has got lots of settings and it is one of those things that you can tweak and play. It looks complicated, but there is just loads of little things you can turn on and off and tweak the plugin to work in exactly the way that you want it. So once you've got it installed, you're not going to hurt anything or upset anything by turning on some of these and off. For example, if you wanted the videos to loop, so you play the first video and then it starts all over again, you'd tick that box. So these are lots of little uh, features that you can basically play with. Now, one of the things that you do need to do is configure I'm just going to show this now because we're going to start talking about how you configure the plugin. You are going to need to configure it to work with your YouTube channel. So because I'm about to change screens, I've put a big old gray box there. While I go to the setting up here, it says API key. Now, hidden behind that is my API key. Um, before you start having sort of not a panic attack, but essentially thinking, oh, my God, this is going to get really technical. It is actually a lot easier than it seems. But you do technically have to connect your YouTube channel to or your account to your WordPress website. And this basically here has a little link on how to do that where it says click this link. And um, on this page here, it basically shows you how to do it. Now, first of all, it's going to tell you that you're going to need to go to the Google console. But if you actually scroll right to the bottom of the page, obviously, these are screenshot directions on what to do. They have actually got a YouTube video at the bottom, which will step you through this process. And it isn't that complicated. It's probably just one of the fear factors that it might be something you've just not done before. If you were to click on this link here, it says the Google console. OK, it will open in a new window. We'll just wait a second. Now, I'm already signed into my Google account. So that's one thing that you might just want to bear in mind and do. But essentially, once you've got the search bar here, you can type in YouTube. It's going to come back with three or four different versions of uh, plugins and APIs that you can pick out. And if you look back at your YouTube settings, where's my little thing gone? There we go. If you go back to my YouTube settings, where are we there? Um, it does actually say here, where's it gone? Make sure it's a YouTube data API V3. OK, so it does tell you that you've got to very clearly there. You've got to be careful of what uh, one you select. OK, so let's just quickly pop back over to where that is. All right. So here we go. There's our four or so different um, API plugins. You click on the top one and basically you'll get an enable button and you just follow those instructions that are shown here. So you'd click on the enable. It will say ask a project. You say you're embedding a YouTube plugin. You need to create the project because you can actually have this set up on, on lots of different things. You could be running two or three different websites and it's going to need to know which one and that kind of thing. So which is why you have to go through this process. But once you've done it, you've got the YouTube plugin at the top. You click on the enable and then you can just add your details. And when you've finished all of that, it will you've got to make sure it's selected as public. But then you will get your API key. And it is a case of just copy and pasting into that browser. Now, bear me just one second while I swap all my screens around one more. Okay, so what we then have working along this little bar at the top here, um, we have got a wizard here that will basically explain to you how you go about using it. But I'm going to talk you through that in a second. But that's how you'd find extra help if you were stuck. Um, your gallery configuration, it's given you a bit of a thumbnail there. And if you remember on my home page, I'd got mine set up in two rows of five images. So that's basically where we go, where have we gone? There we go, let's get rid of that screen. That's where we go here and set it. So there's my 10 items, 
in a column of five and obviously that naturally going to default to two rows i could create pages so if i wanted to show the last 50 videos but i only wanted to show 10 at a time it will then give me little left and right arrows you could have them called next and previous you could add a sub uh, subscribe button like that here all sorts of different configurations so this particular tab where it says galleries that's displaying the entire gallery and not necessarily talking about a specific video on a uh, page like a blog post. Upgrade, I haven't had to do that at all. If you actually look at the features, this is the free version um, somewhere down here that has the information, but essentially you can you can plug it all in for free and use this and it doesn't cost anything, but you can upgrade if you want some extra bits and pieces to go with things. Uh, performance, I've not even had to touch. Compatibility, I haven't had to touch. Security and privacy, I haven't had to touch. And then embed manually, it does tell you again here how you can embed the videos. And uh, if you want to get sort of more techie and not use the buttons and features, which I'm going to show you in a second, you can use the short codes. Now, let me just uh, go back through this. Bear with me just one second. Okay, so the next step, oh, let's have, did we just finish on oh, support? And if you actually wanna ask people for support, you can do so as well. Okay, so what I wanna do now is now that you know it's all set up, configured and working, what I wanna do is just show you how that actually happens on a blog post, for example. And we're gonna have a quick tweak and play just to give you a bit of a behind the scenes. So I'm just gonna create this as a test post. Okay, and I'm literally just gonna publish it straight off so that we can see it on our site let me just get all of these gone because we don't need any of that now okay so i'm just gonna bring up an empty post there you go nothing there at all it's now live on my site it's called test so if now that i've got the plugin configured and set up on my my website as it were i can basically add it to my blog post so i can pick a video so i'm going to type in youtube there we go. And as I start to type the word YouTube, now my theme that happens to have a kind of a YouTube embed button. So you just if your theme has that as well, you just need to make sure you're using the right one. But it is essentially the YouTube wizard button that you need to click on. So it's very easy. You can open the wizard and then it's going to ask you what you're going to want to embed. Are you embedding a channel? a playlist or a single video. So let's say in a sense, I'm gonna be putting in a single video. And what it's done here is it's basically explained that what you need to get is the proper path to the video where it has the word watch in it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So let's just dive over to my YouTube channel and we're gonna just grab a video. Let's have a look, where's my channel? Okay, let's videos. Whereas let's let's find one. That's the one I did recently this week. I don't think I've written the post on this yet, so I'm just going to pause that. Now, if you look carefully at, at this, this is the URL that we're going to need in the top. But when it comes down here and it's got the share button, people often try and use this where it says copy. That isn't the one that you want. So you just make sure you're you're copying and pasting the correct link. I'm sure it would probably work with that, but it does ask you to collect the, the main URL from the top of the page. So I'm just going to copy that. So now we know which video we're going to work with. And all I'm going to do is paste it in the box and hit submit. I'll just give it a second. And then it's basically saying um, insert it into the blog post. So there we go. That's it. Job done. I'm going to update this now. And then we can go to our blog post and I'm going to refresh the page to show the change. And that's it, job done. The YouTube post, the YouTube video is now embedded on my site or on my blog post. And that's pretty much exactly the same principle for if you wanted to play with the channel and you wanted to actually display your channel. So let's quickly do that one as well. Now, if we go back, maybe I shouldn't have closed my channel so quickly, bear with me one second. Um, we need to go to my channel. Now, when you're in your channel, if you look up here again, it's the channel path. Now, if you are lucky enough to be able to customize your path name so that you've got your own vanity, like, for example, mine is actually McCall Media TV. Um, you make sure that you're actually working with the serial number URL and not that. So I'm just going to copy that right now. And then again, we can come back here. We can just paste it in 
and we can get the channel. And obviously I've already configured how I want the gallery to look. Um, it also gives me the embed short code there if I wanted to use it as a playlist, but I'm just gonna insert the gallery, all the buttons are done, all the hard work for me. So there we go, that was uh, one of the videos I uploaded last night because I've changed the little welcome videos on my YouTube channel, so it's picked it up. But essentially, there we go, and it's job done, and I'm gonna click updating, and it's another solution. So let's just come back here and refresh the page. And it's job. Obviously, there is no gap because I haven't put a gap between them. But essentially, that is the other YouTube embed at the bottom. So other than setting up the API, which is one of those things that you'll need to do on most uh, plugins these days, because obviously the security aspects of uh, configuration and making sure that your the plugin knows which uh, account to connect to, as it were, you're going to have that one task that is a bit of a tweak so I would suggest go get yourself a coffee sit down nicely the video this plugin has got a nice video and nice set of uh, tutorial to go through it's not complicated it's just maybe it's a bit daunting if it's the first time you've done something like that now um, that kind of brings me to the end of today's live stream and it's a bit bit more disjointed because obviously I'm doing something live and demoing or a how to solution as it were. I can also see that I've got a couple of comments so bear with me just one second. Um, we've got, oh Lynn's been watching, thank you Lynn. So this is also straightforward, I hope you find it so and of course you know how to reach out to me if you are a bit stuck. Great tip, thank you and also thanks for doing this Angela, that's my pleasure. It's been wonderful to do and help you with one of my Ask uh, McCall Media uh, solutions today Lynn. So if like Lynn you have got some questions that you need some help with and you've been having a few challenges shall we say, uh, you can also Ask McCall Media using that hashtag on any of your, your favourite social media platforms and I will happily uh, help you if it's uh, within my powers to do so. And um, that's it. It. that kind of brings me to the end of today's video so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe stay tuned and notified for my next live broadcast take care thanks